welcome everyone to our another episode of cds views so in this part we are going to see and discuss multiple joins multiple joins using cds views cds views and consuming it consuming it consuming it in a bap report so multiple joins we are going to see here okay so let's discuss the concept here so in the previous session we saw what is joins and what are joins what is the use of joins how using joins we can combine multiple tables together right so we have implemented joins in the previous session in the previous session we have implemented joins on two tables which was our employee and project details and project details table two tables we had okay so now in this part we will see how we can implement multiple joins more than one joins if we have to implement more than one joins how we can implement that and for that i will take a simple requirement so we will implement implement joins on three tables three tables here so table 1 will be my uh, vba ke sales order header vbap and then makt table so vba ke vbap and makt table now if we check between vba ke and vbap so i will simply open my table so let's go and check both are header and item table so we will have a primary key which is sales a document number which is sales document number i will go to sc11 and vbak display button this is my primary key sales document number vbeln okay so between vbak and vbap we have a common column common column which is weblen and then between vbap and makt we have a common column matner matner so matner is the primary key of my makt table and also it is available in my vbap table if i go and check my vbap table which is my sales document item table so here we have got matner material number okay so now i will simply implement the concept of joins and then we will consume it in our abap report okay so let's go to our add tool i will go for data definition right click new data definition and here i will give a z naming convention so z cds uh, up to 7 we have created i'll go for 8 then i'll go for multiple joins using cds views okay let's go for next button i will select my transport request here and i will go for my next then i will go for normal define view and finish okay this thing we will give our sql view name so let's bring our sql view name here uh, earlier we had taken our view name as gdic view 6 i will go for 7 this time so copy and i will paste it here i will paste it here seven okay and i will give here my data source accordingly and we will apply our join condition okay so let's implement our join condition so i will give here as select from my vba ke table as select from my vba ke table inner join vbap table on vbak dot weblen 
is equal to VBAP dot VBELN. So this is my first join. Then I will go for another join, inner join, inner, inner join, MAKT table, okay, on VBAP dot matner is equal to MAKT dot matner. Perfect. We have applied our join conditions, so multiple joins here on more than two tables. Now I will simply fetch out the data of all these tables one by one. So let's go to our VBAK. So this is my VBAP. I will go for my VBAK table. So VBAK. I will select the fields from here. First one is my VBELN. So copy it. I will go to my AGT and I will add my column. So VBAK dot VBELN add sales document number okay then i will go for vbak dot erdat so creation date so creation underscore date then i will go for vbak dot erzdt so edge time i will go for next column vbak dot ernum so as username and VBAK dot VBTYP so as sales document category sales document category so these are the five fields I am selecting from VBAK then I will go for my VBAP table so I will go for my VBAP table let's go to VBAP VBAP I will select Posner and Matner okay I will go for Poisoner and Matner here. So VBAP dot Poisoner as item number. Then VBAP dot Matner as material number. Material number. Okay. Then we will go for our MAKT table. So let's see columns of our MAKT, MAKT table, display. And I will go for here uh, SPRAS and MAKTX. Okay. Matner we have already selected, so there is no need of it. Uh, let's just scroll it. Yeah, perfect. MAKT dot SPRAS as language key. MAKT dot MAKTX as material description. Material description. Okay. So it's perfect. We have selected columns of all our three tables. Now I will do the activation. So right click and do the activation. Activation done. Now we will go for open with data preview. So open with data preview. All right, we have got only three records in our header and item table. So that's why we are getting it. You can see here at last we are getting our language key accordingly. We have got English language and then we have got our German language also. So language key and material description coming from my MKT table. This is item number and material number coming from my uh, VBAP table and the rest of the first five columns are coming from my VBAK table. So perfect. They are working perfectly fine. Now if you want we can also give here parameters. So if you want we can also give here parameters. So with parameters uh, with parameters P underscore VBLN and I will pass here VBLN underscore VA. So I be, if you want, we can pass here parameter also and I can give here where condition. So where uh, my VBLN or VBAK dot VBLN is equal to, then we will refer to our parameters. So dollar parameters dot P underscore VBLN. Okay. We will simply refer to it, right? So it's working perfectly fine. Now let's activate it. So I will do the activation. 
I will do the activation and I will again right click open with data preview right click open with data preview okay I will pass here the input so is 9056789 let's go and check see only one value is coming here and in this one value we are getting our language key and SPRS as G if you want we can do the uh, filter on this one also so let's filter out that value also I will go for my report uh, sorry I will go for my CDS view and I will create one more parameter here P underscore SPRS and I will give here the language key uh, SPRS data element is also SPRS I will pass it here and in the where condition I will pass and the uh, MAKT dot SPRS is equal to dollar parameters dot uh, P underscore SPRS perfect right now let's activate it mm, activating activation finished let's check the output so open with data preview and I will pass the value of my PVVLN so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 and in my SPRS I will pass my English key E let's go and check see only one value now we are getting instead of 2 D value we are not getting so this is how we can implement multiple joins on our more than two tables easily also we can apply the filter condition also we can easily apply our filter condition right now I will simply consume it in my ABAP report so I will create a program it has been logged out let me reopen it I will go to SC38 login SC38 uh, then I'll give the name so consume multiple joins multiple joins using CDS so create title I will pass consume multiple joins using CDS okay in the type I will pass here executable and I will pass the package and transport request I'll pass the package and transport request so it's perfect this is my ABAP report now I will create here parameters so parameters P underscore what are the parameters let's check it VBELN and express all right so P underscore VBELN as sorry type VBELN VA and I will also pass my language key so P underscore SPRAS type SPRAS okay so let's give a field level from the user I'll go to go to text element selection text I'll pass here the DDIC reference and activate it okay once it is done now we will go for our start of selection event and I will write my query so select query star from my CDS view name so where is my CDS view uh, this is my CDS view CDS view 8 select star from my CDS view and in it I will pass my input so in it we will pass our input here all right so p underscore vbln uh, equal to at the rate p underscore vbln sorry vbln comma p underscore sprs is equal to at the rate p underscore sprs okay into table at the rate data LT table okay perfect so let's check for syntax no error activate it and I will simply display it so I will display it using CL demo 
underscore output and I will pass I will call it a display method and here I will pass my LT table okay let's activate our program all right I will go for execute and here I will pass my sales document let's say I'm not passing the language key what will happen we are not getting any result because we have not passed any input all right let's say I'm passing here language key as E then we are getting the result now because this filter condition is mandatory so once we will pass the value then we will get our result also so it is working perfectly fine we are able to call our CDS view into a web program also now for our corresponding CDS view a DDIC view would have been generated so let's go and check that I will copy my CDS view I will go to my SAP system and let's go to SC11 here view corresponding view DDIC view let's go and check they are supported in limited way by SC11 all right let's go for table join and see here join VBAK MANDT is equal to VBAP MANDT VBAK VBELN is equal to VBAP and VBELN which was our primary inner join between VBAK and VBAP then if I check my VBAK and MAKT we have got MANDT and VBAP and MATNR is equal to MAKT equal to MATNR part. So perfect our fields have been joined. You can see the fields here, all the selected fields from all these three tables. So perfect. This is how we can simply use multiple joins using CDS views and we can consume it in a BAP report. Okay. So this is all about this video. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue from next part.